Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to now move on to actually installing uh, your downloaded Octopi image on an SD card. Now, uh, as mentioned in the hardware video, you probably want a, a, an 8 to 16 gigabyte SD card uh, minimum. You could probably get away with a little bit smaller, but you know, 8 to 16 gigs is pretty good. As mentioned, you should have already downloaded um, Octopi, uh, as talked about in the initial video. If not, please go here and download it. Then once it's downloaded, uh, unzip it. Now, the next thing you're going to need if you're running on a Windows machine, and I'm going to focus this uh, video series on Windows machines, even though I'm a bit of a, a Mac fan, um, I'm going to focus on Windows because that's probably where the majority are going to come from. You're going to need Win32 Disk Imager, and you can get that here, and I'll put the link below um, to it, to the SourceForge page, and you'll need to install that. And it'll look something like this. It's not very impressive looking. Um, however, what you do is in the first one you select the um, uh, the image. So in this case we're going to go uh, select the image to the um, the file to the uh, image file that we downloaded. And I gotta think about a minute where I put it and um, software and this is the Octopi Wheezy distribution so here you go it's an IMG file we select it and we open it and uh, now in this case my uh, my uh, SD card is is I and, and again make sure that um, you have this selected right so you're not overwriting another disk and then once you're sure of all these things click right and you know obviously it's asking me do you really want to do this because there's no going back so I'm going to tell it yes so now it's going to write this this disk out so uh, this this process depending if you have an 18 an 8 to 16 gig drive could take some time so um, I'm not going to spend the whole time in the video watching this so we're going to uh, let this move through we're going to install it then once it's done one of the things that we need to do is we need to go back here and if we look at this we're going to need to update octopi-network.txt uh, for our our LAN settings or our wireless LAN settings, if you will. So uh, we're gonna let we're gonna let this go back and finish installing, and then once it's finished it's finished installing, then we're gonna go look at the contents of the drive. Now for this, one of the things I would suggest is something like Notepad plus plus. I'll put the link down below if you don't have this. It's freeware, uh, great uh, editor, and so we'll use that to actually uh, edit um, the file. You know the the octopi-network.txt file in the root and uh, update it. So uh, I'll see you back here in a second or two by the magic of video. Okay, so um, Win32 Disk Imager is complete. So you see here we have the Write Successful box, so that's a good thing. Progress bar is complete, so we're going to say OK to this. And we're going to exit uh, Win32 Disk Imager. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to um, that particular uh, drive. And where is it? Uh, where is drive I? Oh, here it is. Okay, so now that we found drive I, uh, we're going to look, if you remember back in um, here, what we have to do is we have to edit uh, octopi network.txt. And so uh, let's go back and find this. And here it is. And in short, this is just a text file. So what we're going to do is we are going to find open with. And we're going to open, uh, in this case, I mentioned uh, before Note, Notepad++. Uh, I'm going to use standard Note, which is, again, just uh, pretty much like uh, Notepad++. So um, 
what you want to do is you want to come down here and find your uh, WPA, WPA2 secured. And what you want to do is remove the hash from in front of the interface. Remove the hash in front of um, uh, WAP uh, SI, SSID and then from WPA-PSK. So your SSD is the name of your uh, wireless uh, router hub or what it advertises. So typically if you go down into your network uh, selection of your notebook or tablet, it, it'll say the name of what you want to join it to. Now that's the name that's going to put our SSID, which is the name of our network. And in this case, um, in this case, mine is named Einstein, so I'm going to just put that here, and then I'm going to enter my password in between these quotes, and obviously this is not my password, but I'm not going to put my password in the video, so, and then you save this out. So once this is saved, you can now remove your, uh, micro, SS, my, your micro SD card from your computer and insert it into the Raspberry Pi. Now, um, Here's where you put it in the Pi and the underneath, uh, as I mentioned before, there's an SD card slot. So you'll put put it in there. Now the uh, other piece that uh, we'll do, let's see if I can find another, um, see if this one will work. So up here in the back you have a power LED and you have an access LED. The power LED will be red and the access LED will be green. So after you insert the card, you'll want to apply power. And then once you apply power, this green light should start blinking. It'll take a minute or so for it to boot up and this green light will keep blinking all throughout this time. And then finally, uh, it should go off. At this time, uh, your card, your, your network dongle should you know typically glow. Uh, they typically have a little LED in them, and that LED should light up, indicating that the car that the dongle is now connected. Um, if it doesn't, I definitely suggest re remounting it and making sure you've select the, selected the right one. Um, a lot of people make the mistake and select WEEP in, in, you know, instead of WPA, etc. So make sure you get the right one. Make sure you get the right password. Make sure you get the right SSID if it's not working for you. And um, in the next video, we'll talk. We'll show you how to connect to the Raspberry Pi and to Octoprint. However, for this video, this this will be the end of this video segment. And uh, again, please, if this uh, series is helping you out, please give it a thumbs up. Even if it isn't, hey, give it a thumbs up. I appreciate it. You'll have my gratitude. And uh, also, don't forget to subscribe because as we push these out and we continue this series, you'll get updated on it as they come out. So, anyways, see you in the next video. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.